Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to raise something called dopamine. Dopamine is what's called the motivational molecule because it actually improves your motivation, your get up and go, your ability to jump out of bed. So when you're deficient in it, you can't get out of bed. You lose your focus, you lose your cognitive function, become uh, depressed, have anxiety, apathetic, uh, feet and hands get cold, decrease libido, uh, mental sluggishness, carb cravings. Other than that, you're perfectly fine. So there's certain unhealthy things that will trigger dopamine as well, like crack cocaine, for example. This little baby right here is called cocaine. Right. When a person gets hooked and addicted to crack, what's happening is that this drug is triggering this neurotransmitter, which is elevating the, your mood and different cognitive functions temporarily. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Keep it up with me. And then what happens is the more you do it, the more you lose the effect, the more that you want to do it. So you're in this really terrible cycle because it needs more and more cocaine to stimulate the same amount of dopamine. So you become very, very addicted. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> and of course, what it's doing all the time, it's giving you this artificial uh, sensation, which then gives you the need for more and more of it. So it's, it's a bad habit. Um, now, the other thing is if you consume caffeine, for example, or any type of stimulants, what you're doing is you're triggering dopamine over and over and over again. And then you'll, every time you do it over time, you lose that effect. So you need more and more coffee, more and more stimulants to create the same effect, just like any drug. So let's talk about um, what dopamine is. It's a neurotransmitter, okay? Neurotransmitters are similar to hormones in that they're communication particles. Yet the neurotransmitters communicate through the nervous system, whereby hormones communicate through the blood. Okay, that would be the difference. Okay, so there are things that you can do to stimulate the production of dopamine, like taking L-tyrosine as an amino acid, which is a precursor, because maybe you need more raw material, or improving the stomach acid so you can break down the proteins to formulate this neurotransmitter. Those are some things. And by the way, the way that you would know that you wouldn't have enough stomach acid is if you would have gas, indigestion, or bloating. Okay, then you'd want to add apple cider vinegar, something like maybe something like betaine hydrochloride, just to increase the acidity so you can make more of this neurotransmitter. On the flip side, you also have reducing stress. Too much stress in cortisol will nullify the production of dopamine, okay? And this is actually really, really important. Um, so you would want to maybe take some B1 from nutritional yeast, but let's say, for example, you have a history of being a drug addict and you're like, you're in a really bad state right now and you want to spike it up. There's a type of B1 called salbutamine. So yes, it's synthetic, but it's stronger. And if you use it on a temporary basis, it'll actually be okay. But just make sure that you take it in a blend of nutritional yeast so therefore you're not depleting any of the other factors. Anytime you take excessive amounts of a certain isolated synthetic vitamin, you can deplete the other vitamins that normally come in that complex. And this goes for vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin E, across the boards. Rhodiola is another herb to help decrease stress. Holy basil is another one that's really good to lower stress as well. And the next thing is to reduce sugars, okay? Because what that does is it sets up a situation that you get insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a situation where you can't absorb these amino acids to make the neurotransmitters. So you would have to fix this insulin resistance to be able to have this work. And everything else is not gonna work unless you fix that point because it's kinda like the, the door that allows everything to go in there to, to kick it in and make it work correctly. And there's something else you can take to actually improve dopamine levels and it's something called uridine, okay? It's a natural chemical that is in nutritional yeast but it's really good for cognitive issues, helping to stimulate more dopamine. But if I were you, I would take a nutritional yeast by itself that way you can actually get this right here and the B1 and actually improve that situation, okay? Lastly, get more sun. More sun will improve the dopamine levels as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.